two. Hey guys, Kid here, Burn One Shadow vs. Evolve channel. As always, we're on to our Dragoncraft set review for Flame of Leviathan. I'm joined once again with a good friend of the channel, Russia. Howdy. And then, as we said before, if you skipped the video, um, Dean possibly couldn't make all of them, and turns out it came true. He's preparing for his trip to Japan in the next day or so. So we got another friend of our group, Ollie, here. I'm going to say hi. Hey, what's up? What's up? All right, so we're just going to... Oh, wait. Also, as always, we want to thank the Shadowverse Evolved Discord community. They are the ones who actually curate these translations and everything. And I do have some names this time around. Big shout-outs to... Let's see. I wrote them down here. Yep. Uh, Nova Starlight, who was the one who originally reached out to me. And we're now using the English version of the translation sheet using the English... Um, uh, I guess words instead of like fairy tale, it's fable and things like that. Like a cell is instead of, I think it's direct attack in Japanese, right? And yeah. a cell in English. So, uh, some minor differences compared to before. Um, so shout out to, yeah, Nova Starlight, uh, Bebek, Bebek Pink Pecking. Man, I'm so sorry if I screw up your guys' names. Uh, Lietnam. And then the last one is Doraemon5370, but he's in the Discord server, is named Local. Uh, Barbaros simp. Did I say that right? I hope I did. Barbaros? Barbaros? Oh, Whatever. That. Listen, I'm an idiot, all right? That's, <laughs> I can't speak. Fair. All right. Straight into the dragon craft here. Uh, first card is Jabberwock. Uh, the superior version is the U version. For some reason, it's a waifu card. <laughs> it turns into a no. hot anime girl <laughs> for if you buy the expensive version. Um, audience. A, yeah, a seven drop seven seven has fanfare. Put another follower on your field into your cemetery. Reveal the top card of your uh, top of your a top card of your deck. They worded this word here until you until you reveal a follower that costs more than the one put into your cemetery. With this effect, put the revealed follower onto your field. Shuffle the rest of your field cards, then put them on the bottom of your deck. Um, I don't know how good this card is going to be, but I like I, uh, I I'm sorry. I love RNG effects that are stupid, but because you get to choose the far you destroy, you kind of have an idea of like what are the things you could potentially hit. Right. So I guess this is like a way you could trade in like a random dragon word that lived cross turn or something into like a four power or four drop follower or higher i guess or if you get really lucky you just randomly hit like genesis dragon or something yeah so the way the way you're like you're usually well in digital the way this card was usually played plays the deck was built you just played like a bunch of like really low costing cards and then you would just slam a jabberwock down when one was on the board and then you try to high roll into like a nine or a ten drop that's like what you're trying to do uh but it's pretty inconsistent yeah, I can One see thing that. I just noticed about this uh, card that I think is really, really interesting is they specify you have to shuffle the revealed cards. And I just was, I guess they're like trying to combat you could like have no higher cost thing and order the rest oh, of your deck. Oh, order your entire deck. <laughs> oh my God, that would be so you insane. Can't do that. They took oh away the one God. thing this, uh, this card could have done. They took away the one yeah, thing. Yeah, you are oh, imagining like double ramp into this on your turn five. <laughs> that And then you're just like, yeah, I reveal, I reveal my entire, deck. yeah, I reveal my entire yeah. deck. There's nothing, there's nothing higher than like this a card I destroyed. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to rearrange range of deck in this order uh good luck or like the only other thing you could potentially hit like imagine like you know you destroy something and the only other thing higher is another jobber walk <laughs> so yeah, you just keep yeah, rebuilding yeah. till you hit another one and you just keep doing it till you get like three of them out on the board right and then um and then yeah like you gotta you basically get to set up your draw order for the rest of the game which is like kind of ridiculous that would be a okay, really you funny just, deck you just you just touched on something interesting that, that i didn't think about is if you just like if Jabberwock is your highest costed card, or like, or you just somehow build yeah. the deck so you just keep getting Jabberwocks over and over, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah. Like, how that, would you do that? It, it would just be things like um, you would have to like crack something on your board that's like five or six cost, right? Um, are there even any really good six cost followers? A lot, a lot of the good followers Rico, are like five, Rico. right? Rico. Rico. Oh, I guess yeah. Um, I guess potentially Rico's oh, another Rico. card you could accidentally get hit into oh, oh agree yeah um, i don't think you 
want to play Rico in this kind of deck because oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like to to not have. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, like if you drop something like on five, like for for example, you have no six drops, right? And the highest drop in the deck is basically Jabberwock, or maybe you put in like a couple like Bahamuts or something in the end top end. Um, you could put like Shenlong and not ward it, and they don't get rid of Shenlong because it's a five six. You swing in for five next turn. You play Jabberwock on seven. You crack the Shenlong, and then you just Jabberwock into Jabberwock, which is kind of funny, right? Yeah. Um, so you could just get like uh, what, what, that's twenty one stats on the board. Twenty one, twenty one were the stats on turn seven, which is kind of funny. Um, uh, oh, oh, but the it, I guess the issue though is I forgot the fanfare requires you to destroy something right so you'd have to yeah. destroy your other jobber walk to cycle a bunch of yeah. jobber walks out it, eh, yeah it just I, i'd like generally you'd why would be like want to be hitting like a genesis dragon or there's that um there's that uh dragon card in uma that's like fanfare gain 10 health i've seen yeah, I've seen a couple yeah, of lists yeah, with that, yeah. that would be really yeah. funny to hit off of jobber walk <laughs> what is um i'm trying to think of the normal li- like i'm trying to think of my list right now uh between because i'm thinking about if you just play like discard dragon you just throw this in and you're just like killing your two mana tokens and so you have like you'll probably hit dragon warrior but if you don't hit dragon warrior you're probably hitting olivia's and you're probably hitting like your other yeah. big things so i, I wonder if you could like cut dragon War. you know i don't like cutting dragon warrior but you cut dragon warrior and then you go like just have this guy kill your like tokens and you just like get free stuff basically for like two mana. Yeah. So like your curve is kind of like a bunch of like three and lower drops and then like a bunch of like high cost cards after that. And you don't really play a bunch in between to like maximize yeah. the high roll. I, I'm saying, yeah, but I'm saying this is just like a addition to like a, the already like discard dragon. You know, oh, or I just mean... like a, it's just like a hey here here's like a board fill type card where it's like here here's this here's this token that I have that's either stuck around or I can spend two mana for and then I get this and either an Olivia my one of Shedlong Rico Ogre would be a tough hit because you wouldn't want that to mm-hmm. come out probably um, I mean maybe I I mean I imagine if you're playing this card anyway you probably play like some number of Genesis Dragons anyway because like I mean hitting a Genesis Dragon off this is probably insane also right yeah. It's it's interesting I mean, card, card to like play. Terrible. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting card like to play around and figure out like if there's a really powerful use for it. But it seems like there's no consistency involved on this. It seems very awkward. Um, I mean, Dragon Warriors does a really good job of just like every turn dropping a huge overstated follower for your opponent to deal with because your dragon's always playing like one to two turns ahead of your opponent, right? With with as depending on how much they ramp. All right, next card here, pressure. Levitane Dragon, uh, six mana, five five, evolve for one, and evolve this follower into an evolved follower with Levitane Dragon in its name. And we have two versions right now, and we get some uh, additional versions in later sets. But the first evolved form is a uh, uh, he goes into a six six, and he has a sail. And on evolve, he summons a Draconic Weapon token and recovers two play points. And the Draconic Weapon token is an amulet that uh, when you tap. Uh, it it gives a follower plus one health and the draconic trait. I'm just making sure. Yeah, or sorry, sorry, armed trait, not draconic trait. The armed yeah. trait. Um, and then the other evolved version is a uh, attack form. He becomes a seven five, and then on strike, he selects an enemy follower on the field and deals four damage to it, and then he deals three damage to the follower's leader. Um, I just realized why is the attack form like worse, Rico? <laughs> You're right. It is. <laughs> well, because he because he can do it when he's not the only thing on board. Yeah, but you're trying. <laughs> okay, look, dude. Uh, I just realized. Wait, have I been saying the name wrong this entire time? I've been saying Flame of the Leviathan, but it's, it's Leviathan. Le- Le- oh my god! Why is no one correct me? Have you played Dark Knights? I have not. Okay. All right. Well, I uh, confirmed uh, bad you, at reading. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I try my best to get out of gotcha games because, like, card games are, are already yeah. my gotcha game. <laughs> oh, no, no. Arc Knights. This isn't an Arc Knights video, but good lord. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. It seems like um, the defense for the normal version or defense or whatever version this is uh, is just better, right? The 6-6? Six, six? Or do you guys like the 7-5? I think I'd rather play the seven, the attack form usually. Yeah, I think I'd rather play the attack form. Attack yeah. form, yeah. 
I mean, I still wouldn't even play this card at all because I think Rico is better. But if I had to, if I was forced to, I'd play. I'd play the attack form for sure. I I don't think that because it basically turns into what a a five mana six six with a sail. I don't think that's like good enough. It's a um, it's a four mana, right? Does well, I'm, I'm kind of including the Evo cost. I'm kind of including the Evo cost, but yeah, I guess four mana if you have an Evo point. Four mana six six. Oh I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I yeah, think. sure. I, I don't think. Uh, like yeah, I mean, I don't think the draconic weapon does enough yeah, for you. Yeah. Draconic weapon? I forgot. It's just plus one attack. I forgot what it does. No, plus one, plus health. one health. Plus one health. Okay. Well, it's a weapon, it but you get health. health. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I'm not very impressed with this these these cards in general. I think you kind of touched on that. Rico is just like a better version of this card that doesn't take up Evo space. So. Yeah, they get some other versions in the future, and I I don't remember which set it, it happens, but. Uh, which, <laughs> which are definitely better, like evolved versions. That's kind of like why they 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 uh word it like you, it can evolve into any sort of. When when do they get this? I'm looking in the future. Maybe I'm lying. What's the next set I, that they get? I don't remember ever seeing these cards played. So yeah. I, if they got one, it it what obviously wasn't good enough to to see play. Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah. No, it's next set. Yeah, next set they get two more versions. Uh, but we don't need to talk about that right now. But uh, yeah, they're yeah. not. They're not. They're if, this, not. The, if, the, if, this, if the attack form had like storm or something, that'd be pretty sick. If the attack form had storm, oh my god, dude! That's if it had storm, would be insane. insane. Yeah. yeah, dude. Off, <laughs> off dragon. <laughs> You're right, bro. dragon. So, bro, we know the the, the digital. Oh, that be oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, oh, uh, next card here, Holly. Uh, okay, red rage worm three drop zero five. Uh, Wormkin Fable. Uh, activate, engage this card. Give it plus five attack. If you have Overflow, it gets plus ten attack instead. What the heck is, is this card? Is this card it's like rad, it's rad. <laughs> actually? Wait, this card doesn't seem that bad though. Three drop. Uh... Five health. That's like not particularly easy to kill outside of a couple of crafts, right? So. So this card on curve is like if you can guarantee the place on three every game, I guess, like that you miss Oracle because you're a bad dragon player and you don't get a ramp. Uh, then that's this card, true. this card is probably like, wow, that's really annoying to deal with. Your opponent will be forced to crash things into it almost immediately. Um, but outside of like literally playing this on turn three and you did it ramp. This, I don't know if this card is just is there any value for this card at all? Okay, but on seven, it's a ten five that your opponent can probably clear a lot easier. Yeah. <laughs> the dragon, yeah, Serpent's Wrath. Boop, it's gone. <laughs> and I drew a card. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, it's, um... It's Why is funny. this a gold? <laughs> Why is this a gold? Look, dude, it's dragon. Damn. Maybe they just... Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. Are, are, do, they, do they want you to do something with... Jabber walks into the fable, or they just don't give a care. They just don't give a care about that. I don't think they care. I I don't know what the design for this card is, or like what it was supposed to play Me into. Me yeah, I, I guess the assumption here is like five health is really hard to get rid of. So like you engage it for a turn to get a five five, and hopefully it lives at like a five one or something, and then you get a swing in for five, then it dies immediately. Like that. Yeah, you play it and then you rest it twice to make it um. A ten five yeah. on You're, turn five. Sure, you got it. <laughs> that's uh, it's, it's probably not that. Good. I guess I, I guess this could be annoying. It's like turn one bell ringer and like turn two whatever. Turn three this engage and engage the bell ringer. So it's like slightly harder to interact with this card. But I think still. I think the next card is a much better turn three play probably. Uh, yeah, probably just go to the next card here. Draconic Knuckle Dragon. Look at this cute guy. Evolve for one. Fanfare. Summon a Draconic Weapon Token. The Evo. Draconic. Uh, oh, Draconier. Was I saying it wrong? I'm an idiot. Oh, my God. On Evolve, select an enemy follower on the field. Deal two damage to it. Uh, if there's another armed follower on your field, deal four damage instead. Uh, how many armed followers are there? I'm OK. I already see Mora coming up uh, ahead. Any, any of them, because you get the weapon. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, the, the weapon. Point, the point is, you. Oh, okay, I get the it. Weapon to give something armed. I forgot that the the token spell gives you uh gives you armed as a trait, right? Yeah. Yeah, card. Yeah, yeah I think this is a better turn three card. <laughs> I, you probably replace Dragon Warrior with this card, to be honest. I don't know if you do. 
um because you still you, you you're forced to have another fall on the board right to get the four damage yeah but um i mean i think the amount of times where you ne- actually need the three damage and two damage isn't enough doesn't come up that often well i feel like it kind of does they they probably they they probably crash there like three three or four four into something, so you can usually just ping it off anyways with with burn two. Uh, and then I mean and then even then you can like with like a little bit of forethought like if you know you can try to keep a follower on board and give them the armed trait so you can get the four damage. The spell costs one though, right? To cast. Or is it zero? It's free. No, it's free. It's free. Just well, it's, on the, it's it. on the board. It's on the board. Yeah, it just plays the card. It just plays the token to the board. Oh no, but I mean, it's it's a uh, the token. It, it builds. It's a spell, right? Does it, um, it cost no, nothing? It's an, no, it's an amulet. It's an oh, amulet. Oh, crack. Oh, okay, okay. For some reason, I thought it was a spell. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Also, I mean, like <laughs> worst case scenario, like you just you have a four or five. Uh, on three that hit something for two. Going second. Yeah, going second. Yeah. Look, we're always going second. We never <laughs> lose dice rolls in this house. Uh, no, if you're losing if you're losing dice roll to me, no no, I'm always going first. I I feel like I feel like a lot of people like going second though. I like going I prefer first. going second. Uh, I definitely I think Evo points are just too dragon. strong in this game. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think this is the type of card that um basically eventually outs dragon warrior well it, it's it's always like partnered with dragon warrior because dragon warrior you play in the decks where you're playing like more control dragon and you're not or uh control-esque you know of dragon and you're not uh caring about board but as you'll see in like a couple sets when they add um uh the disdainful cards uh they play dragon because they have a lot more guys on the field in general so mm-hmm. it's just like if you're playing a deck where you're like more than half your deck is followers and you're playing board and stuff you're probably playing dragon if you're playing a deck where it's uh sort of like a control dragon right now or or sorry ramp dragon right now or even like discard right now like i think you still would play warrior in current discard dragon but i think anytime you start going oh hey i kind of got an early curve here i think i think you probably throw dragon in okay well look i don't think i don't think i don't think anyone should be playing discard until set five comes out, so what? Hmm? Wait, what? wait, 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 what? Wait, wait, wait. I said I don't think anyone should be playing discard until set five comes out. I think that deck sucks. All you have the hottest takes. <laughs> <laughs> Was it hot? Yeah, I think right now, like not counting set three, um. I think right now drag dragon is probably best deck in format, like just barely above Uma. Discard or discard. Or I don't agree. That's fine. We just choose to both disagree. Let's move to the next card. <laughs> I was like, I, I thought I misheard you. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right is, is this me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tilt to get windmill six mana amulet. Activate three play points. Engage this card. Put a follower from your hand onto your field. Give it the following effect at the start of your end phase. Destroy this card. Why does it cost three to activate? I should have just said fanfare and then activate for three, right? Like, so you get it. You get the effect immediately first. Like, what do they want you to do with this card? Uh, Bahamut, and then it dies, and you're like, what? on turn six, you play this. Turn seven, you're like Genesis Dragon for three. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I mean, yeah. and, uh, and Forte without Evo, I don't know. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, then turn yeah, eight, Genesis that, Dragon for yeah. three. <laughs> yeah, I like cheating out followers, like overstated buff followers already is like really, really strong. In but like this is so late into the game. Even even if you're playing Dragon, right? You 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 like get two ramps off early, right? You put this down on what turn four. And then turn five, then you can, if you drew a really big guy, then you could play three play points and like play Genesis Dragon. Like, I guess if you're high rolling crazy, then this is going to be okay. But if you're not high rolling, this card just seems too slow and too nothing. Because even the turn it comes down, you just do nothing, right? Which gives you, gives your opponent an entire turn to do whatever they want. So the payoff has to be like, I win the game next turn because of this card. But I don't think it's like sets up that at all. 
Are there any like death rattle or uh, uh, last words like? Big oh, guys you know who you could play? Uh, you could you play Ayala. He's <laughs> pay yeah, six yeah, to yo, pay three yeah. to play Ayala. So it dies. So anyway. Pay three to play yeah. your three drop. Sick. Busted. I I don't think there's any like big last word I don't followers think in Dragon. Any right? Relevant last words. Any relevant last words in Dragon. Yeah, I don't think so either. All right, we'll put this into the pile of cards where we're going to lose to it at locals. And it's a gold again. They're making so look at dragon's golds, bro. So, man, listen, dragon they is dragon got kind of uh, short shorted um, this set. We're one for three right now. <laughs> uh, I think this is, is this you, Ollie. Uh, probably. Uh, Master Draconic Arts is a three drop to four. Uh, it has a sail and ward and. On fanfare, if you have overflow, this gets four attack and rush. Uh, that's okay, I guess. This is a this is a pretty cute card. Like on six four assail ward rush. On yeah. Overflow. Even on turn three, it's a two four ward, which is like, I guess it's it's a pretty decent stat line. This card seems okay, but I have a feeling like, let me think. Like you already have uh, Wrath as Dragon that draws you a card and deals five damage. You already have over, like buffed uh, Angelic Snipes as Dragon. Like, how often is the six a cell going? Because like, what what this card comes down to is like, is a six a cell worth six a cell rush worth like playing in your deck or yeah. not? Yeah, I, I I do I think um Wrath is like a better like use of the slot. Yeah, like, my my one issue... less parents, but you maintain card advantage. Yeah, my issue also with this is like, is there any ever a universe where you're playing this over shapeshifting mage? And if it's because the Evo like a uh, space, then you probably just don't play this type of card at all, and you just stick to Serpent's Wrath, and you're good. Like yeah, you need yeah. something like this. Like if if you go to your locals and every single one of those players is playing Beauty and the Beast, you're probably gonna play. You're probably gonna play uh, shapeshifting over Draconic or this guy, right? Yeah, I think I think in a world where shapeshifting didn't exist, I actually really really like this card. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Like, uh, it's just it's just that thing. I think that issue with Dragon Dragon was just so. It got so much stuff early on that it's just such a powerful class that like these these type of cards that like if they existed earlier on they I don't even know if they would even be played then right like because shapeshifting mage is so strong I, I I'm not even sure if this is even better than playing like dragon guard <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 I I'm not really sold on this card a lot I mean I could. I can. I, I don't know if I would ever like fault anyone for playing this as some number. It just doesn't seem as powerful as shape shifting and other stuff. So you need. I, I I think I would fault them. Like they, I'd be like, show me your Evo deck. What's going on? Do you, I, I got extra shape shifting for you. Do you, need <laughs> you know, I got some. I got some, bro. Oh man, listen. No, like <laughs> they get the six. The six to sell. They crash it in, and it lives with one HP. Then they sack it to their jobber walk. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. Busted. Exactly. All right, anyway, next card here. Um, Hammer Dragon Newt. Two drop, two, two. Uh, Dragon Newt Wormkin Armed. Uh, evolve for one. Fanfare, look at the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal an armed spell from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. The evolve form here is on evolve, deal two damage to each enemy leader. Uh, are there even armed spells worth looking at? I see there's one coming up, but... Yeah, I think uh, they, they, they just. I mean, one. I guess I guess we'll just show the arm spell with this because it's probably what they want you to play it with, which is Draconic Smash. Uh, it's a quick two drop spell. Select an enemy far on the field and deal it three damage. Summon a Draconic Weapon token. Um, there's only one other armed spell, I believe, and if I remember, it's pretty shitty. Yeah, this seems pretty mediocre. This, yeah, yeah. this is it also just, just okay. Like, for this card to be good, you have to hit on the like a two drop, th the a two drop two two Evo into a three three. I like, I we talked about this before. I like it in other uh, other crafts, but a lot of times on turn two or whatever, even going second, you're just gonna Dragon Oracle if you have it, right? 
If you have yeah. a good turn, if you have a good follow up like four drop play, you just drag an Oracle anyway. Um, and so like for this card to even be good, you have to like at least like hit a, a spell that you can like do something with. I mean, if this if it, if it searched this spell out every time, maybe the deck, maybe this card becomes way better very quickly. But um, yeah, I'm not super impressed with it. Yeah, I, I think the problem is like they want this to be sort of a uh, archetype that you just like throw in as like a package and like a normal dragon deck because you know the the, the draconic weapons are like hey give another thing armed trait and then we get to you know cook um but the problem is just like dragon like you were like we were touching on last uh, card is dragon just has so many overtuned cards already that there's no space for a card like this i do like this as like an aggro card but i don't think aggro dragon exists and i think if you want to play an aggro deck there's like at least three other classes that do that better yeah they straight up do it better yeah yeah so i don't know i I, yeah i and i do think it's sort of like a fine line because i think that like i think i probably would play this in like every dragon deck if this hard tutored this card if this hard tutored a uh the, the two mana deal three i probably would play this in every dragon card or dragon deck i feel almost the same way where it's like i think the card goes from i probably never consider this card to like i could i should consider this card like moving forward yeah, yeah. It, it's it's just not impressive if it doesn't like tutor like specifically this spell even yeah so anything to add ollie nah i mean it's yeah it's as you guys said pretty whatever card only tutors mediocre spells and not even really tutors yeah all right, next card here, Prussia. All right, Elder Tortoise. I love this uh, this art, man. He's awesome. Four mana, three, five. Fan for gain an Evo point. And then if Overflow is active for you, give this follower plus two, plus two. Yo, who needs Olivia? I know. Five, seven, gain an Evo point. I kind of like this. What the heck? <laughs> it's It's like... It's fake ramping on, like... Let's see, like you ramp once. So like on turn six, this is like. OK, it's what are you it's, going into on turn six. Uh, you go to Forte face. That's what you go to turn six. <laughs> you could have done that anyways. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Um, the, the, the evil point comes so late. It like almost doesn't even matter. I mean, you could make a you could make a play where you play this on your six, right? It becomes a well, assuming you at least ramped once, right? Um, uh, you or I guess even on, yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, you're at save, you're at overflow. You play this for four. You gain an Evo point. This becomes a five seven. You can then play uh, Dragon Worry Evo that turn to remove something and have a four four rush essentially, uh, like. I think this card can randomly build like a like a board kind of once you hit overflow because you get that evil point to do some stuff like that. But um, the stat I, I like the stat line overall. It just I don't know. It, I guess it comes down to is this evil point like what you need to make the deck better? Is this card ever better than um, Dragon Guard? Um. I mean, isn't Dragon Guard and this facilitate two different things? Because this doesn't have board, right? This is more about getting the Evo point. I think it, pure stats, Dragon Guards is just probably better, right? Because it's it's in the same slot. And, yeah. And I I just feel like you can't ever play this on curve or uh, like like not ramping um, or not at overflow, basically. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah. I kind of like this card. I definitely can see it not being played at all. But just the, I think the idea of the card is what I like the most. And it, would you not just play Olivia for that if it like? Yeah, yeah, I I totally agree in that point because I did, I've done that play a lot with Olivia where like I call I went first I Olivia gain an evil point make my opponent discard a card and then Dragon Warrior evil Dragon Warrior to <laughs> hit something and remove it right like I've I've done those lines which I really like and that's probably what's like making me biased towards like oh i kind of like this card but yeah i think that's kind of it though you guys have anything else to add to the Not elder really. tortoise all right he's a, he's a he's a cool dude he is a cool dude all right 
Ollie? This is me, uh, uh, Trinity Dragon. We got a two drop, three two. Uh, it's just it has intimidate. Uh, Seems. card basically okay. sucks. Okay, okay. Unless okay. you say otherwise, is, Prisha. is this is aggressively statted two drop? I feel like I almost want to play this to punish all the super greedy force players. <laughs> because they play no removal outside of May, and it's like if you want to spend your whole turn bouncing May to kill a Trinity Dragon, <laughs> go, <coughs> go off. But uh, and, and if and if it get by, well, it gets bottom by Lily or something, that's fine. Oh, I think they're usually doing like they're doing other things on top of bouncing their maids as well. Usually, like well, I'm saying like on turn three, like if you or like or even even going first, like they they have to go. Like, I don't know. I really like these type of cards where it's like you're forcing them to have like a specific answer, and especially if you're like reading uh, that the meta's ha- gonna have like a class that um yeah like force is like really greedy. Okay, so I agree with that like logic in general because like obviously I played a ton of Saint Sky in Uma, which was was like I think the card that I enjoyed the most in the deck, and Intimidate was like a big factor of having that card and the fact that it snowballs damage. I think the issue, my biggest issue here is like, if I see a car like that, I want it to at least at the bare minimum, not just lose the snipe randomly. Like if it didn't, if this was a two, three, I think it actually would be better than a three, two, honestly, Uh, just because it's just one less, one less like thing you have to worry about. Cause a lot of the very, very cheap removal does two damage. So if there was yeah. a way to buff this up early on and like make it go to three or even four life, uh, then I think this card becomes a contender of like this card is aggre- aggressively statted. It comes down at two and like you can snowball the game from there. Um, yeah, but yeah, you can, cause... like um, play this like with the arm stuff. Like go turn two, this turn three, Jake here. Put the put the one yeah, health on this. Three, three. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. can see something like that too. Yeah, like in a, in a, even... in a more aggressive dragon deck, this is probably fine. Yeah, I, I, I'll be honest. I didn't even think about like Saiyan Sky yet. You probably would play Saiyan Sky in, in, in that, like what I was describing, you know, in that, in that sort of um, like, like scenario I was describing. Yeah. So, yeah. This card, this card might be super sick in the set three only format. I might have it to it might be that. because, they're, they're, yeah, there's like some removal here, but a lot of the removal costs a lot to do. Yeah, so, like yeah. in the set three only format, this could be like one of the best bronze cards to be playing. Yeah. All right, I think we kind of touched up on this card enough. Next yeah. card here, I think it's me, Dragon Summoner, yeah. uh, Dragoncraft, uh, Dragon, Dragon Heart, and Dragon Newt. It's a two drop, one three. Evos for one. Interesting. Dude, these this back to back art is good on this card. Uh, on evolve, look at the top of your cards of your deck. You may reveal a Dragoncraft follower from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest bomb your deck in any order. No way, Dragon getting some kind of like. Consistency card, get me, get me out of here. That's not true. Quote unquote consistency. <laughs> so I already forgot. This is a two drop, right? Originally, two drop yeah. one three. Yeah. Uh, and it evils for one on three. I mean, I guess if you, this is like an okay going second. You didn't find your um oracle on turn two, so you play this evo with an evo point and like curve out on your turn. Find a good turn three play, I guess. I really like this card. I feel like this card is the best dragon card in, in this set. I think this card's really, really strong. And it gets I mean, played a lot after this set. I, I could see that because like Dragon has like zero consistency tools. You're just always yeah. you're always like a uh, slave to top decking in Dragon for the most part. So like And it's also like perfectly mm-hmm. statted for a card like this and in a deck like this where it's higher health. You can trade into things. It's also just hard to clear. Getting in just random chip damage as Dragon is really strong as well. And also just being able to, like, it's not just, like, draws a card, but just be able to see three and just say, hey, I want this one. And, yeah, like you say, going second. I feel like going second, this this is the second best play. Like, I like having another good play outside of Oracle, you know? Yeah, uh, the, I think the worst part for Dragon is its turn two plays are just, like, non-existent. It's, exactly. like, either you Oracle or, like... What else is there? Do you play another bell ringer? Are you Evo, Evo the bell ringer you played earlier? Uh, yeah. This at least kind of curves out the two, and then I think it like incentivizes Dragon even more, like going seconds. Like this is pretty sick, and it's just another thing to like have better curve out on turns you miss uh, Oracle, or if, say you do have Oracle in hand, but you have no four drop that's worthwhile to curve into. So you're like, why would I? Why would I even Oracle this turn when I could 
build a start building a board that my opponent has to interact with on turn two. Yeah. Like I'd probably play this in discard right now. Like uh, I'm, I'm trying to look at like I'm looking at like the list that I have right now. Like you probably I mean you still play Rico, but like I'm playing like Olivia probably cut Olivia maybe even like Bellringer and then I, I, you just you you just search. I think the hardest like, part of this uh, this card is like Evo slots probably. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, a lot of Evo decks were. Uh, yeah, like. I think Dragon's Evo deck is like pretty tight now. I think so. Yeah, yeah I, I could see it get in there because, like, in my Evo deck, I still play um, the two drop shapeshifting mage, right? So I think I think I have like one Evo slot dedicated to shapeshifting mage. I could so I could see this like taking that slot instead. Um, if you're not going to be playing uh, shapeshifting mage at all, but yeah. And if like if you're on like Oguri, like you want to dedicate, you need to dedicate like multiple slots to carrots. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, I, hmm? Oh god, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, yeah, I, I really like I, I like this card. It's a really solid card overall, and I could see it in the future doing e- even more work than now. Yeah, in the future, this is like kind of a staple. This is seen a lot in, in Dragon in the future. Oh, I was gonna say so- crazy in PDK. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think? Do you think? Because because I know they said to Dark Alice. Do you think they're gonna send to this card? Oh the yeah, a hundred percent. There's no oh, way. They I literally just that, this art is so good. I mean, there's this a card. So there good. was a card in set one. Like they literally just like it didn't even show anything bad, but they just like yeah. removed her breast, like because I guess people yeah. can't handle it's, characters that I, have I boobs. I feel like so. I'm not yeah, usually the type yeah. of person to like really complain about such or whatever. But it it is weird that this game like just randomly gets weird hits like that. I, I don't understand, but alas. Yeah, I assume moving forward from the new sets ever since they announced, I mean, this is a little side tangent, but since they've yeah. announced an English one, they'll, they'll probably never be situations like that again, because they kind of did that in digital too. Once once it came out in English, they stopped having cards that they have to censor. It's just everyone gets the same art now, I assume, right? Well, in digital, it was a little different because it's like they went back and like changed everything. Like, oh, yeah, like I the know. Cards that are yeah. Coming out, the cards that are coming out now, like in... in um in jp for 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 evolve like i mean off the top of my head i can't think of anything that would have been censored in um in digital that but yeah i i, I don't know i i uh yeah either, either way to, this is yeah either way this is a topic for something else anyway we'll move on yeah, to the next card here to finish this out here uh i forgot whose turn i think i think it's i think it's who is it i don't know you go ahead you go ahead Russia. Okay, I'll, I'll do a Lance Lizard. Three mana, three, four. Once per turn, whenever this follower is selected by a card effect, during your turn, give it plus one attack and deal one damage to each enemy follower. Fan, <coughs> uh, if a fanfare if overflows, active before you summon a draconic weapon. It's not so follower, it's basically... it's leader. Deal one damage to each enemy leader, not follower. Oh, sorry, enemy yeah. leader. Oh, did I not say that? Oh, you okay, said yeah. follower. Yeah. Um, uh, God, I so wish. it's basically a four, five, three mana, four, five. Oh no no, but it's, it has to be overflow. Yeah, this card's like, yeah, this card's okay. Aggro dragon. Let's go. Yeah, I, it's like for like the, all the cards that like drop, put these weapon tokens on the board. You just this is like your target for them. Would it really be so insane if you did this like three times a turn? Like, why is it once per turn? <laughs> Listen, you don't see you will see me play this and then be like triple say uh what is it uh, flowers for you on this card? <laughs> oh god. Plus six damage, that'd be pretty funny, but uh yeah. Well you can't target uh anything with flowers for you. Or this is an Uma. Don't you have to target Uma? No, it's yeah, a follower and if it Well you give anything plus one attack if it's a Saiyan sky it gets plus one plus one. Ooh, hold and on. then you draw I'm a card. I'm sure you have to target an Uma with that spell. Yeah, select an Uma must be Oh, okay, okay, okay. Plus one. Wow. Yeah. You got me, you got me. Listen, I only I played like, the Uma deck. Just All give right. it Uma trait. Yeah, just Easy. give it Uma trait. Easy. Look, it looks like a horse already. <laughs> arm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where's the armed where's the armed uh, weapons for Uma? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Uma weapons. All right, I tried. All right, card sucks. No. <laughs> it, it, the stat line on this card's all right. Like, and it's kind of cute. I don't know how good it is though. Like, outside of being okay, you have to like snowball with it. And like, I feel like Dragon has like a thing that it would rather be snowballing with. Yeah, it's one of those things too where Dragon, all of Dragon's payoffs are like way higher yeah. in the play point range. So eh. yeah, yeah. Also, Arms is an aggro deck, and this feels like not an aggro card. This feels like a a card 
that you like want to like try to like just beef up for the late game and try and kill your opponent i don't know yeah all right next card here i think ollie this is you yeah that's uh one drop uh spell armor burst so it's an armed follower in your field and an enemy follower on the field put the follower on your field into your ex area and deal three damage to the enemy follower and then you summon a draconic weapon so this is just like you it's... bounce one of your own followers essentially to deal three damage to another follower yeah it's <laughs> How? You have to, uh, you have to, it's basically yeah. effectively bouncing your own follower to do a, one damage higher blazing breath. Okay, yeah, this, this, get a, a kind of out of it. this card seems pretty yeah, think, not I great. This card sucks. In shambles, dude. This card <laughs> Literally, is the art is oh, cool, man. but uh, yeah. All right, I, I don't think we have anything else to add to this card, so that kind of wraps up our dragon uh, review. Uh, if you made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. It helps us out immensely. Uh, once again, thanks to the Shadowverse Evolved Discord community for curating all this for us and everything. We appreciate it a lot. And I'm sure the community pre appreciates you all a lot. Um, with that being said, you guys have any last shout outs, I guess? Uh, Presha, anything? Nah, I'm good. Thanks for watching. Holly? Uh, shout outs to Burn One. Oh, yeah. The coolest Shadowverse channel on YouTube. Yeah, and the best dead wife's channel out there also, if you guys Hell ever yeah. stumble upon it. Uh, well, maybe one day I'll go back to making wise content. It's just community has been rough lately. Anyway, that being said, we'll see you guys in the next video. The next one being Abyss, which is a uh, well, craft. I'm looking forward to looking at all these cards later, everyone. Card. Yeah. <laughs>